Good morning, everyone. Today's June 29th. We're going to do a dip garden tour. So we're going to start in the herb patch. So oregano has been harvested to be dried. We have our sage plants doing fantastic. Um, thyme is doing great. This plant is three years old. So we should start harvesting it. I'm going to harvest it next year. Then we come over here to my plants from work and then my marigolds that I planted they're finally doing really well and we have a random squash plant I can't remember what it was I planted zucchini there like two or three months ago it's finally came out now I guess we have a new sage plant here that I got purple sage and we have catnip that is chives we have a Rosemary, that's not doing well, and then that is a sunflower that's not doing well either. Come over here to my peppers. We have a few varieties, I can't remember their names. Um, this is King of the North. This is a Dequila Sunrise. Oh, and that is right there. That is a green pepper, I think. I don't really remember. And then we have my zucchini plant. And it's starting to produce flowers, I can see. Oh, it gives me hope for some zucchini. Then we have some, that is kale. Um, spinach went to seed. And then the beets didn't do well over there. I don't know why. Then we come over here to my green beans. They're doing... Okay, they would do a little bit better if I didn't keep all of these. But they're just too beautiful. I, I can't get rid of them. Come over here and we have some more. We have some lettuce here. This is romaine lettuce. I'm going to cut off a head soon. I like that one. It's starting to look good. Then we have... That is... Um, butternut squash. We have four plants, and then we have some beets actually as well up here. Then we have some sunflowers. And more and more flowers from them. We have carrots, and they're doing very well this year. More lettuce. We have Mm. Radishes that went to seed. So I should probably pull those out and maybe plant something else when it's so se uh, early in the season. Maybe plant my one zucchini plant there. Yeah, that'll take over. Alright, then we're moving along through the poppies. We have a random acorn squash. Just one acorn squash leaf. So I'm okay with that. More lettuces. We have some potatoes I didn't even plant. Potatoes, 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 potatoes. I forget to pull up potatoes, I guess. We have a sunflower here. It's a small one, but it's gonna be mighty. And we move over here and here's some more peppers and more peppers, more um poppies and they're doing well they're actually falling off now so i'll be harvesting seeds soon hopefully all of them before they fall into the garden and create more for next year and then we have some zinnias these are a different variety than my usual ones that my grandma used to grow these ones are cactus mix zinnias, I believe. And then here's my sun, my one sunflower I planted. It's a purple sunflower. I got the seeds late in the year, so hopefully it'll produce one flower at least for me. I have like 70 more seeds inside, so hopefully. We have some more marigolds. The marigolds, I planted those a few days ago, and 
they just explode quickly in this weather. Then we have some, um, we have some, some, some more, um, watermelon that I always plant each year. Beautiful variety. Um, I can't even remember the variety, but I'm just a big fan of that. It has less seeds in it and a big, big watermelon variety. We have my lipstick plant. My, no, my popsicle plant. And it's producing its flowers. Yay. So this is really good for attracting honey, um, bees, nectar loving animals, honey, um, so I should get some hummingbirds in here, which I'm really hoping for. Now the strawberries did very well. I don't have any complaints. Just wish the birds would leave them alone. But they did really well. I had so many strawberries. Then we move on into more pride and joy and tomatoes. I love growing tomatoes. I love it. We have quite a few varieties this year. I don't know their names. I don't know most of the names. I know a few of the names. So we have some better boys. Like, I think all of these are better boys. And I need to come in and pick off some leaves. See some things going after them. Darn. So I have to, I think it's probably aphids, if anything. So I'll probably sprinkle something on them today. And then we have some more that I need to trim at the bottom so it doesn't get diseases. Some more. And flowers are growing on all of them. And as we move along, it's the two down the row. They're actually the older ones I, I actually planted earlier in the year. This is a different variety. I don't know which one. It's tomato. That's all I know. I keep tucking them in their cages. I had to do a new trimming. I just keep coming around and tucking them back in their cages. So we have some little, um, these are type of cherry tomato, beef steak, uh, I think beef steak's right here actually. Then we have some herbs, these are basil. We have better boys, I believe these are all better boys too. Then we have a different variety here and there. Uh, I'm probably gonna collect seeds from tomatoes this year and just grow my hybrids. Like they're massive, these plants. Anyways, um, I just keep harvesting. Like, look at those tomatoes. I just keep not harvesting, I keep, just keep pruning tomatoes back on the ground so it prevents diseases. I do add mulch to the ground and this mulch is from the chicken yard and it's older mulch that gets stirred up and then pooped on and then brought into the garden to prevent weeds. But not everything's 100%. There's still some weeds in here. I need to pick. We have some mova. We have some mova growing. This will per this will bring in some pollinators as well. Let me just move along. Move along. I think I said everything. But we'll move on to the other garden. Alright, 
so we have a new we have another tomato plant and it's six to seven feet looks like a disaster it needs to be watered a lot and here we have our potatoes we have um those are cucumbers and some zinnias zinnias and another tomato plant right here plus some milkweed that has to be pulled out and it has kind of colors on it that's it everyone have a very nice day